Can you explain offset to me? Absolutely. So offsets really helpful when you're working with geometry where you want to create entities inward or outward. You know, that's useful for like wall thickness and working with concentric shapes. So let's look at some of the important things you need to know when using this tool. Show me how to use this in an easy way. Yeah, so let's start with the this simple sketch. Offset is useful for closing off sketches. So I've cleared the dialog box and I select these two lines, drag inside or out, depending on where you want your lines to be hit enter, you'll notice the dimension and these constraints that show uh, this offset icon. When you choose the line command, you now can close this off. I have a closed profile. This dimension is editable. Click it, double click, and you can change the value. Sometimes offset is not available. Why not? Yeah, so in order to use offset, the one challenge is that you do need to start a sketch. I'm gonna select the sketch, create sketch icon and select a face or plane, and now that I I'm in a sketch, the offset command will be available to you. How can I create entities on the outside and inside of these edges that are there? So what you can do is you can use this two sides option and you can select this line or edge. But if you'd like to select everything at once, make sure that your chain selection is enabled. This will take the entire chain for you, click it, and you can see that it's creating two offsets in both directions. This link offsets is useful if you'd like the value from here to here and here to here to always be the same. In this case, this four millimeters. So if I don't link them, then they can be separate dimensions. One thing that's new in Fusion 360 is offsetting an offset, but there is a gotcha, and this has burned some of my time. So I'd like for you to avoid this mistake. Starting a brand new sketch on this face, I'm gonna do a new offset. I'll select the edge. I'm gonna use the chain selection. We're gonna do just one direction. Match topology is on. Click OK. And now I'm going to do another offset. This time it's going to allow me to do it because the original did have the match topology enabled. And so now I can do an offset from this interior and it works just fine. Same goes for something really simple like this line command. Even though these are simple lines that have been offset with a distance, it's not going to allow me to do it until I do an offset with match topology turned on for the original offset. How come sometimes I go to offset and it creates really weird shapes? Yeah, so when you're doing an offset, like in this example with these curves, as you drag it, you'll notice that it might allow you to create, you know, these little tiny triangles just by dragging. And that's with the topology, original topology turned off. So it's allowing you to effectively create new geometry that's not really matching the original. So if you want it to stay true to what you're offsetting, be sure to turn that on for that option. And if you would like to have more flexibility, turn that off. How come when I'm trying to offset on this iPhone holder, it won't let me? Yeah, so sometimes if you're working with rounded shapes and fillets and rounded edges, it can be a little bit more complex. So in order to do this, I'm gonna start a sketch on this back face. You can see that I can easily select these existing straight edges, those can be selected and offset, but it's not allowing me to select these outer edges. So a trick for this would be to first project these outer edges. Anytime that you'd like to project an edge that's not necessarily a straight edge, but instead a rounded edge, use the bodies option. This will redraw these outer edges for us. And now I have this projected outer edge on these rounded edges. Now, if I'd like to use offset, I can come in and select uh, the line or projected geometry. Use chain selection if you'd like to use all of it. And now we can, can see we can offset to the interior based off of this outer value. With match topology, you can see that it's only allowing me to go in a little ways, but if I go outer, it's allowing it to maintain that shape. 
how do I change values or get rid of the offset command altogether? So two pro tips here, when it comes to changing this value, if you simply wanna change the value, um, you can of course double click on this and change it. Or if you delete the dimension, you're allowed to place another dimension, but it's gonna to continue to maintain the offset values. Now, if you'd like for this sketch geometry to stay, but also remove the offset to where you can effectively move it wherever you'd like it to go. Um, that's where if you select these uh, offset icons and hit delete, now I have sketch geometry. And you'll notice when I delete this offset command in this example, it's created a lot of dimensions. I can use my selection filter to only select dimensions. And now if I select all those dimensions, hit delete, you can see that it's only deleted the dimensions. And now I have this original sketch. Be sure to turn on your selection filter it back on so that you can select things. And now you'll be able to edit this sketch properly and push this where we'd like it to go and add new dimensions and constraints.